Hi, I'm Bill. And if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. Well, it's uh, Monday, uh, 24th of April. I got home from Goat Mountain Astronomical Research Station yesterday uh, evening around 6 p.m. I was going to stay longer, but the winds were up and uh, they were going to be up for the next few days. So I just decided to come home. I got a lot of good information on that trip. I'll share that in a future video, but I've made some progress on removing my elongated stars. Uh, I checked that my uh, back focus appears uh, correct on both uh, cameras. I'll, in the other video, I'll go into how I uh, did that. But I did promise to do a video on what I'm using to shoot uh, flats. And again, just um, if you're new to the channel, I use the ASI Air Plus and in that facility, in, in the ASI Air, there is a uh, feature called Auto Run uh, where I set the plan up in Auto Run. I'm not going to go through that steps now. I might do that uh, later. So I just got done taking 80 uh, flats, 20 for each filter I plan to use tonight. Uh, I'm going to use the Luminous and then I'm going to use an R, a G, and a B. And while I'm in Bortle 8-9 backyard tonight, I decided to uh, take a shot at imaging uh, M3. So I should be able to get it uh, for about three, four hours tonight. I've basically built a plan uh, that's going to last a little bit over uh, three hours, but it will get me at least two hours of uh, images. And when I build a plan, I account uh, for how many uh, dithers and how long are those dithers going to take. I dither after every frame. Um, and uh, how long does it take for each focus run and then how many focuses do I expect to do in the night. And then I allow 20 minutes for a meridian flip and then I figure out what my imaging time is. So I'm shooting one minute exposures tonight and I'm going to do 60 in luminous and then the other 60 are going to be split, uh, split evenly across the uh, RGB. And I will show my spreadsheet in a future uh, video, I'm sure. Uh, but I like to know in advance just how much time am I going to have to actually uh, collect images and then how much time do I need for dithering, uh, focusing, uh, and those more administrative things that have to happen with the mount. Uh, and whatnot. So let's get uh, into the purpose of this video and what am I using uh, for a light panel to shoot my flats. So let me uh, just put this down here. So um, first off I have this box here and this is what the flat panel comes in. Um, I just put it on top uh, of my flat, what I'm calling a flat panel or light panel. Uh, to block any uh, stray light coming in. Um, but here is here is my uh, contraption in a sense and I'll go through the parts in a moment but basically I've got a $22 tracing panel. Uh, this is a piece of acrylic satinous white uh, plexiglass, one eight inch thick, and then sandwiched in between the tracing panel and the uh, plexiglass, I have a neutral density filter, an ND9, and that basically produces a three stop, three F stop reduction in light. And I set this uh, tracing panel uh, at its lowest light setting, and uh, so far for shooting. RGB and luminous um, auto run where I set up the uh, flat uh, configurations for each of the filters it's able to successfully complete and uh, land somewhere around 29,000, uh, 30,000 uh, based upon the filter. I've yet to uh, do my um, narrowband filters but uh, First chance I get, I'll do that, and I expect I'll be able to uh, get those done as well. So let me just kind of go through the parts. I'll put this list in the video description. But basically, this is a 
HSK B4 A3 Artist Tracing uh, Light Box Copy Table. It's uh, USB powered. Um, and so I run at night with a uh, Jackery Explorer 1000 or 1500. And it has a port for both my cigarette lighter to power my ASI Air Plus, as well as it has some ports for USB. So that's what I use. But $22 for the tracing panel, uh, a B4 size for my Edge HD8. Um, the acry acrylite satinous white, uh, one inch thick uh, piece of plexiglass that I had cut to 10 inches wide and 14 inches long. I think that cost me about 22 bucks a tap plastic. Uh, and then as I said, sandwiched in between is a neutral density gel uh, again, it's an ND9. It uh, provides uh, three f-stops reduction in light. Uh, I purchased that uh, on uh, Amazon. It's lighting neutral density gels, filter sheets. They're 16 by 20. I had to cut them to the 10 by 14 size, and uh, they were $13. So with the ND9, you also get an ND6 and an ND3. So I guess if you put uh, the ND3 and the ND6 together, that would also give you the uh, uh, three stop. It would be equivalent of an ND9. But it's a very simple, um, low cost method. And for right now, um, I took uh, two sets of uh, flats down in uh, GMARS. And then I just finished this uh, set of flats here tonight. And so I'm uh, really confident uh, that uh, the flats that I'm getting are, uh, are sufficient and, and look good. And as I understand it, the, the thing about the, uh, uh, well, I won't go into, I'll put a, uh, a definition of really what are the flats all about. I'll put that in the, uh, in the video description because I can't remember it word for word. But it's basically checking the uh, intensity of light across the field of view and then smoothing out some areas, like if you have dust mites and those type of things. So, uh, but I'll put a more specific definition in the video description. All right, well, that's about it. Just was a quick video. Um, I mentioned that I do the video, and uh, now I've done it, so I should uh, have this up uh, sometime tomorrow. All right, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'm getting comfortable with the ASI Air Plus now. If you'd like to see more ASI Air Plus uh, based um, content, such as uh, different screens that I use to perform an auto run, or what is it like to set up a plan and execute a plan, uh, what does the polar alignment look like, if you would like me to start capturing some of those screens and then share those with you, please put it in the, uh, in the uh, comments for this video and then I'll know that there's uh, some interest in uh, seeing that type of information. All right, well, um, illumination tonight I think is 18% uh, or so. I forget, uh, it's in my spreadsheet inside. Uh, but, uh, you know, purpose again tonight is to work on my guiding. I've been uh, changing uh, the aggression settings, uh, the exposure settings, and uh, I'm working through a series of trial and error uh, along with starting to look and do the analysis of the uh, PhD2 log files that are created by the ASI Air Plus. And I'll probably have a little bit more on that down the road. I don't think I'm exactly where I need to be right now, but I was just looking at some of the eccentricity and, the, uh, and uh, attributes of the stars for the data I collected in GMARS, and, and it's not too bad. So uh, that's looking good. All right, again, wherever you may be in the world, I hope you have clear skies and you can get out and do some imaging. And uh, other than that, we'll see you next time.